I think we get pretty, three pretty different guys up here. But um, what I do is I anchor my hand here. You know, from watching Doc Lawson, if you watch Doc play, he plays from here. Okay, and, I, and I've always played from there when I played lead and anchored my fingers here kind of like a banjo player's technically supposed to. And I rock back and forth and I use that momentum from, you know, this muscle group here is a lot stronger than the one in your hand. So, you know, and to play really fast, the one thing you have to be is relaxed. You know, the tighter you get, the more downhill it goes. And to use a muscle, it has to be flexed, it has to be tense. So to me, playing from your elbow, if you watch Sam Bush, it does the same thing. If you play from your elbow, your hand can stay relaxed because you're not using that muscle group. And, you know, just in very little bit rocking back and forth, you know, you, you can get that with really hardly any effort at all. And then you can uh, have to do a little bit of practice. And that's basically comes from just that rocking. And uh, economy of motion to me is a huge thing. I mean, the less I can move, this is kind of a, this is kind of like my life in a nutshell. The less I can move, the better off I am. So, if, if you can just, you know, work on that, if, if you're having trouble playing fast, and that gives you another, you know, attack to go by. And um, what it allows you to do is you can use your, you know, if I want to play a triplet, which I rarely want to do, is I can be playing here. And then you have this that's still relaxed that you can use on top of that, you know. So that's one one way. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> no, I, you know, I think if I was going to show anybody how to play, uh, it definitely wouldn't be with my right hand because uh, I was a banjo player uh, first and uh, switched over to guitar like overnight. And literally, I mean, they said, "Okay, there's three strings the same, man. You should be able to figure it out." <laughs> And I'm still working on that. Uh, I, and I, that's the reason I hold my hand like I do. Allison used to call it a baby seal flipper. Um, but I'm double jointed. So I got really weird fingers. They bend all different ways. And, uh, and because of that, I have a little more mobility by putting that ring finger down like that and moving. Whereas most people wouldn't wouldn't so it's it's like uh, uh, and it, it's still you know it, it limits my mobility some and sometimes when I realize I'm doing that I'll pull up and just put my pinky down and play but I have to I have to have something down there in my play uh, I really admire players that don't like David Greer doesn't anchor at all and honestly I don't know how he does that either. but uh, so everybody's different I don't think there's a right way to do it I think it's it's how you learn to do it and uh, you know uh, you can you can come up with a way of your own that, that might become part of your style. It might be a you know an oyster overcomes a grain of sand and makes a pearl out of it. So you might be able to do that too. You know I find that everybody that you listen to and you watch them they kind of all do it their own way. Some of them are similar. Brian Sutton and David Greer are kind of similar. These two guys are pretty similar and they anchor most of the time. I anchor sometimes, sometimes I don't, but I kind of keep my hand open mostly because I've watched, I've watched Doc Watson and that's kind of what he does. He has that kind of feather look to him. And so I think the way it works for me is I kind of use that pick guard as almost like a rip fence on a saw. It kind of gives me my distance from the strings, but I'm not a fast player like Clay and some of these guys. So when I play, I, I look for ways to... I don't know be myself about having to worry about playing fast. When I'm playing fast, I'm pretty much anchoring and I'm hoping and praying that I don't slobber too hard and that something actually comes out that sounds good. But I find that 
because I think maybe because I'm a finger stylist too that I'm looking for variety of I want different positions for different reasons even as a flat picker not as much obviously as a flat picker but for me I just I, I think when I do workshops I tell people look find whoever your favorite guitar player is see if you can find some video and see how they do it if you watch Clay and you like his style and what everybody does but I mean if that's the one you want to emulate then watch what he does and try to pick that up because I think He's fast, he's clean. I mean, I never see him struggle. You know, I never see him, he never like tenses up. He's always really fluid. And that's really huge, I think, when you're playing fast, especially. So we got time for I think we're, we're five minutes over, actually. Oh.